The best graphics cards is probably one of the most crucial components to enhance your gaming or video editing experience. When choosing a graphics card, it's important to consider factors such as performance, compatibility with your existing hardware, budget constraints, and future upgradability. To help you find the right model we've listed the top 5 graphics cards and their key features plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. Number 5. AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX. Looking for the best value high-end GPU? The AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX offers competitive pricing against the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080, with superior performance in most games. Upgrade to the Radeon RX 7900 XTX for an enormous improvement over AMD's previous generation of GPUs. Pair it with a powerful CPU to avoid bottlenecks. Want one of the fastest graphics cards with the best value for your money? The Radeon RX 7900 XTX is the top choice currently available. What we like. If you want one of the fastest graphics cards available with the best value for your money, this is the best option. Make sure to pair it with a powerful CPU to avoid bottlenecks. What people say. This GPU is super power efficient, drawing only 5 watt on idle. Undervolting the GPU allows for stable performance with reduced power consumption. The card provides high FPS rates even on medium to high settings. Number 4. XFX Radeon RX 7700 XT The XFX Radeon RX 7700 XT delivers powerful performance for its price, making it a strong competitor against NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 4060T. With its long cooler, this model has great potential for overclocking, providing extra power and cooling for users to maximize performance. Upgraders with big PCs and 1440p panels will benefit from this card's speedy performance and the opportunity for even faster speeds through overclocking. The XFX Radeon RX 7700 XT may not be suitable for small PC cases, but for those with larger cases, it offers competitive performance and overclocking capabilities. For users with smaller cases, there are smaller models of the Radeon RX 7700 XT that offer competitive performance against NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 4060T at a slightly higher price. What we like. For upgraders with big PCs and 1440p panels, this card offers speedy performance and plenty of potential for overclocking. It may not fit small PC cases, but smaller models are also recommendable for competitive performance. What people say. The AMD 7900 XTX is a great choice for my new PC build. It has proven to be a reliable and high-performing graphics card. The RX 6750 XT is super power efficient, drawing only 5 watt on idle. With some tweaking and undervolting, I was able to optimize its performance while keeping power draw in check. Number 3. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 Experience outstanding performance at a $299 price point. It's a significant improvement over the last-gen graphics cards. Enjoy greatly improved ray tracing performance and benefit from DLSS 3 to boost select games. With 8GB of GDDR6, it offers arguably the perfect amount of video RAM for a 1080p graphics card. Run many modern games with maxed out settings at 1080p. It's an excellent choice for gaming with the best image quality possible. For 1080p max settings, this is arguably the best option right now without overspending. Cheaper cards could be sensible options for reducing image quality. What we like. For gaming at 1080p with maxed out settings and the best image quality possible, this card is an excellent choice. It's not suitable for heavy 2K or 4K gaming but for 1080p max settings, it's arguably the best option without overspending. What people say. Super delivery, well packaged and high quality. Perfect fit, form and function. Easy installation, great YouTubes to aid in installation. Firmware download worked the first time. Wow, what a major difference in my video speed and quality. Well worth the investment. Bought this card as an upgrade from 2060 and the improvement is obvious. 
I also have an ROG Strix 3080 in a different PC and while I think the RGB of the 30 series card is a bit more extravagant, this card looks absolutely stunning in its new home. Fans run surprisingly quiet and has kept itself cool during long gaming sessions. This thing is huge, it is a chunky card but is shockingly light and has no sag, I even got the GPU support assuming it was going to need it, but now it's only use it to make the PC look even cooler. If you're looking to upgrade to a 40 series card, I highly recommend ROG Strix. Easy install, easy lighting control, quiet fans, great gaming experience. Price is very fair for the 4060, it's powerful enough to run all my favorite games, and I've yet to see it drop below 60 frames per second. Installing was so easy it seemed too good to be true. Plug it in, install drivers and NVIDIA software, boom you're ready to play. Absolutely amazed there were no driver issues. The card runs cooler than my previous 4GB card and consumes less power. The 4060 is a bit heavy and does sag slightly in my PC, not enough to cause damage but if I pay close attention I can notice it isn't perfectly straight. So you may want to invest in a support of some kind to help hold the GPU up. Overall I've had a fantastic experience with this card so far, it works as intended and had no driver issues. Number 2. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 Super. Experience outstanding performance without breaking the bank, making it a top choice for 1440p gaming. With a higher core count than its predecessor, the RTX 4070 Super is designed for superior gaming experiences. Arguably the best graphics card in its price range, offering better performance at the same launch price of $599. Delivering high refresh rates at 1440p, this card is perfect for a 2, 560, by 1, 440, pixel monitor or similar. Prepare for the future of gaming with the RTX 4070 Super, capable of handling most modern games at up to 4K resolutions. What we like for gaming at 1440p or 1600p with high refresh rates, this card is ideal. It's also suitable for gamers looking to game at 4K without spending over $599, delivering better performance at no extra cost compared to the original 4070. What people say. The rendering performance is amazing with 2160p rendering at 1-2 runtime. Also, it supports AV1 encode which is a great option for file size and the ability to deliver HDR. Photoshop and ACR are very responsive. NV Studio driver is very stable. The card is very quiet and power efficient. According to Passmark Video Card Benchmarks, it achieves a slightly higher score than the much more expensive RTX 3090T, considering the RTX 4070 Super comes at a fraction of the cost, its price to performance ratio is nothing short of outstanding. Straightforward install. Seamless plug and play. A quantum leap in performance, and the price makes it all the more worth it. Looking forward to many years of making the most out of this incredible piece of technology. It's a bit more powerful than a 3080. I run everything at 3440 by 1440, and this is able to sustain around 100 frames per second in almost every game at ultra settings. Sure, in Cyberpunk if you want ray tracing and ultra, you're going to need to turn on DLSS and frame gen. But it works and still looks really nice. Number 1. Intel Arc A580. Looking for a budget-friendly graphics card? The Intel Arc A580 might just be the right choice for you. Priced below $200, it offers performance that rivals higher-priced competitors. While it may not be the fastest card out there, the Intel Arc A580 comes surprisingly close to higher-priced options like the AMD Radeon RX 7600. It's a solid budget option for gamers on a budget. Not just for display, the Intel Arc A580 boasts strong ray tracing performance for its price. It can handle many newer games at high detail settings, making it a versatile choice for gamers. For optimal performance, stick to 1080p gaming with the Intel Arc A580. However, with some adjustments to graphics settings, gaming at higher resolutions is also possible. If you're looking for a budget-friendly graphics card that offers solid performance for newer games, the Intel Arc A580 is arguably the best option under $200. It may not be ideal for older games, but it makes up for it in other ways. What we like. If you can't afford to spend more than $200 on a graphics card but still want solid performance, this is arguably the best option. While not ideal for older games, it offers strong ray tracing performance and is capable of running many newer games at playable frame rates at high detail settings. 
What people say. The A770 Titan OC Edition boasts a beautiful design and excellent build quality. Its triple fan cooling system ensures efficient thermal performance, making it an attractive addition to any gaming rig. I love this GPU, the value for the price is unmatched. I highly recommend. Works out of the box with Fedora Linux and Windows. On Windows you can download the beta driver to get the best experience. You can find the Amazon purchase link in the description below. Hope this video can be helpful to you. Thanks for watching.